Hi everyone and welcome to our first week of class. I'm really looking forward to working with you all and being a part of your research skill development. I want to take this opportunity just to talk about your assignments this week and how they fit within the larger context or meaning of the class as a whole. If you have not done so already, please watch the introductory class video that is under the course information link on our Blackboard site before viewing this video for week one. As you look through the assignments for this week, you may be thinking, why aren't we looking for things or actually doing research? Well, don't worry, uh, we will be doing plenty of that this term. However, to be more conscientious and help you become a more skillful researcher, I feel it's important for you to be mindful of your own approach to research and how the prior knowledge and experience we all bring to our research affects how we interact with information when researching the topics we need to do for school assignments, our careers, and of course other parts of our lives. So the goal of this course is to make you a stronger researcher. You might be thinking, well, I already know how to do research, and I understand why you might feel that way, um, especially when we think about living in the information age with so much information being readily available to us online and, of course, through our libraries. However, effectively and efficiently using that information is another story and one that you'll be exploring more this term. Research is a lifelong learning skill. Even with my master's degree in library and information science, I still continue to find ways to hone or improve my research and critical thinking skills that enable me to work with different kinds of information more effectively. So here we are at the SAC mission statement page, and I bring you here because uh, this class was designed to help students meet the SAC information competency learning outcome shown here. More importantly, it was also designed to make you more expert in research skills that you will need to be successful, and I'd even say more fulfilled in life as a student, professional, and engaged citizen and member of the communities with which you identify. Going back to our Blackboard site and my contact information, um, with all that I am saying here, please always feel free to, con to contact me and let me know if you are ever unclear as to why you are being asked to do something for class, especially if you're not sure how the task is going to help you improve your research skills. I am continually updating this class every time I teach it, and your input is very welcome, and it will actually help me make the class better for future students. I'm going to take us now to the week one module page where you will find all the activities you need to complete for this week. When you click assignments, you'll be taken to all the weekly modules for this class. Clicking on the week one link will allow you to view all the activities you want to complete this week. The first thing you're being asked to do is read the course syllabus. Please read it carefully so that you have a better understanding of the class and what is expected of you to be successful in it. You will also take a short quiz to ensure you have a good understanding of the course expectations as they're outlined in the syllabus. After you complete the quiz, uh, you will need to send me an email. I would like to connect with you all on an individual basis and ensure you are able to reach me through email, which is really the best way to reach me when you have questions or concerns about the class. So please be sure to address all the questions listed for this emailing assignment. Next, you will complete two very brief but important readings that define our use of the term research for the purposes of this course, as well as what types of information literacy skills you can expect to learn and strengthen by successfully completing this course. I expect that you will all take notes on your readings. I will not require your notes be in a specific structure or format, but do be prepared to submit your reading notes in future weeks. Once you complete your readings, you will be ready to move on to the first discussion board assignment. The point of this assignment is to get to know each other a little bit better and allow you the opportunity to begin developing community with each other. I see classes as learning communities, and I will try my best to give you as many chances as possible to interact with each other and learn from one another. 
I feel you all bring unique knowledge and experience to the class, which we all, including myself, are sure to learn from. There are several components to this discussion board assignment, so please read the instructions carefully. As with anything else you do in this class, please, please feel free to check in with me via email if you have any questions or need clarification. Asking questions is highly valued by me, and I firmly believe that asking questions makes you a better researcher, learner, and proactive person overall. Please note that your discussion board post is due by midnight on Thursday, April 14th. After you submit your post, please respond to two of your classmates, as explained here, by midnight on Sunday, April 17th. To have the most authentic discussion possible in an online environment, such as our online class, it is best if we post discussions and responses to one another throughout the week and in a timely manner. Please also be careful and think about how, you, how what you say in your posts and responses to one another might come across. The netiquette guidelines in the course information page of our class explains this in greater detail. Please revisit these guidelines throughout the term. They are intended to make you a more skillful and meaningful online communicator, which are skills that will serve you well into other areas of your life, I promise. Once you have submitted your discussion board post, you can move on to watch Chimamanda Adichie's highly inspiring TED Talk. I won't give any spoilers here, but please give this your full attention and listen very carefully to what the speaker is saying while thinking about bias we all have and how it can affect the ways we react to and use different kinds of information sources and perspectives that we encounter in our research. I hope you find this talk to be as inspirational as I do. I have watched it several times and share it with people close to me in my life since I feel it contains such an important message. Maybe you'll be inspired to share the talk with others as well. And for your final activity this week, you'll be asked to write a journal entry tied to uh, Shimamanda Adichie's TED Talk. I have provided very specific instructions for what you need to address or write about in your journal entry. So please note that for journal assignments, I'm not grading you on your writing abilities necessarily. I am more interested in your thought process and that you are really trying to expand your mind and grapple with these issues. The journal entries you complete for this course will ask you to examine your own research process in a variety of ways. Doing this type of critical thinking and self-examination will make you a more conscientious and skillful researcher. Learning to become a better researcher is not just about knowing where to find things, but also how to examine and evaluate what we find and think about how it relates to our learning goals and our larger lives. I'm gonna wrap up the video and let you move on to beginning your work for week one. And good luck with everything and please stay in touch. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks very much for watching.